Horbury and Whitfield is a town steeped in history, with beautiful landmarks and a bustling high street, famed for its independent shops. But all is not what it seems, as some locals are discovering that there could be some truth in the haunting tales from its sinister past. Legend has it that a beastly boggart, described as a decomposing human with red eyes, attacked a man in Watson's yard off High Street in 1917. Jacob Shaw, who was on leave from the trenches, was walking home from the pub when he was grabbed by a creature with icicle decaying hands that left burn marks around his neck. A few weeks later, local man John Gibbon reported seeing a ghastly creature with demon eyes that smelled of putrid meat in the same area. Both incidents feature in a book by Clive Christen and have helped make Harbury a popular haunt for ghost hunters. <laughs> Stephanie Fishwick's family took over the greengrocers on Queen Street a few weeks ago and the ghostly goings on they've experienced have left them in no doubt that there is some truth in the terrifying tales. We've been in the, uh, the Watson's yard for about three weeks now and it is safe to say that the boggart has been around and there is something quite spooky about this place. We have heard footsteps upstairs and things like that, but we wouldn't dare really go upstairs and find out what it was. <laughs> About two days ago we had all the lights turned off in the shop and we just sat in the back and it was really an airy feel to it, it was really cold, it wasn't very nice, it was like something evil was there really. But living and working at one of Harbury's most haunted locations, the Bingley Arms at Harbury Bridge, means a trip family are used to things that go bump in the night. It's really weird living in a haunted pub because you'd be upstairs, you'll hear random things and it happens all the time. You never know what's going to happen. You hear stories from customers who come in they tell you about stuff that's happened. Like We've heard things, uh, gas and beer have been disconnected and turned off by themselves without anyone being down there. We've had things down here, just totally random things go like, we've gone up for a night when everyone's gone to bed at 12. Everything's been normal and fine and then you'll come down the next day, things have been moved, things have been changed, candles have been lit, all that sort of stuff. It's, it's really weird. I'm not sure who's what really haunts the pub. I've heard loads of different stories, loads of different... Um, I've lived here for 14 years, like from a little kid to this, so I've heard everything that you could probably think of. I've heard things about a lady, which I do believe was a cleaner or something, who now haunts the ladies' toilets. I've heard stuff about the person who originally built the pub, um, when, it, when he used to live here before it was a pub, that he haunts it, so there's loads of different stories and we're not exactly sure what it is. And when Harbour reporters were invited to brave a tour of the spooky location, it didn't disappoint. This is over 350 years old, this place. Uh, and people used to live downstairs, and this upstairs part was just like a hotel. So, you know, there's all sorts of stories, but uh, I'm sure you get a better feel when you have a look downstairs. Oh yeah, it's things like this. And that, that'll be right at the top upstairs. Yeah, that's how it travels through. But we don't often rush down if we hear a noise down here. We've just come back up from the cellar and we don't know what's happened, but all we know is everyone was downstairs in the cellar and then suddenly these lights are on. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, I think it's time to get out of here. Little did we know that outside wasn't much safer, as the ghost of a Japanese prisoner of war is said to haunt the canal path that runs alongside the historical building, and this is the one that Lucas Tripp feared the most as a child. The kid, like, late at night, about maybe midnight time, my brother and me used to sneak out, we used to try and find it, we used to look from the kitchen window, we used to look and we used to wait to try and see it, and it's something I used to be terrified of as a kid. So next time you visit Harbury, you could be in for a fright. Beware, the boggart could be lurking around the next corner. <laughs>